An emergency homeless shelter in southeast Austin is set to stay open for quite a bit longer than anticipated. Next week, city leaders will look at the future of the marshalling yard. KVU's Matt Fernandez met with city leaders to talk about how that shelter's role in the city's overall goal of fighting homelessness. This is Indigo. He said he fell on tough times as he's been living on the streets of Austin for seven years. It gets cold, man. It gets cold. It gets hot, too. This is, this is outdoors. It's real. It's real, man. Indigo says someone needs to do more to help the homeless population. The solution is somebody just look around and see what's happening out here and care a little bit. That's the solution. Help. The first part about helping is listening to what people want, what people need. He wants to get into permanent housing. He's currently one of 6,000 people that are homeless on any given day in Austin. Council member Ryan Alter says leaders do care. It's a huge issue and it's a really significant issue. It comes as city leaders plan to formally extend operations at the Marshalling Yard Emergency Shelter Southeast Austin next week. It's served more than 1,000 people since it opened, but it was only ever supposed to be a temporary solution. Clearly it has demonstrated a need for that type of emergency shelter within our system. We are going to uh, approve, I believe, some additional funding to keep it operational through uh, this next fiscal year, so through September, and then also figure out where it fits into the overall need. Do we want to continue operating at the Marshalling Yard? Do we want to move that somewhere else? On Thursday, alter and city leaders toward shelters and permanent housing resources throughout the city, like the Marshalling Yard, the Arch Downtown, Bridge Shelters, and the Ensperanza community in Southeast Austin. Austin has a very robust homeless response system, but it's full. We are utilizing every tools, bed, service that we have. The Ensperanza community is filled with tiny homes and access to services like crisis management and substance use support. Alter says more spots like this are part of the solution. These kind of micro shelter types, it's a, a shelter model that really works. So as leaders work to find more shelter bed space and long-term solutions, Indigo says he just hopes to get into permanent housing. We're not the enemy. We're, just, we're people who live outside. Have the system provide for him and others in need. In Austin, Matt Fernandez, KVU News. Matt, thank you. The city's homeless strategy office is also revamping its intake process for how people get into some city-run shelters. To get into the Arch Shelter on 7th Street or the 8th Street Homeless Shelter, people can now call the Sunrise Homeless Navigation Center's hotline at 512-522-1097. That's meant to help connect people to those shelters if they're not physically able to get there on their own. The hotline is open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Friday.